What is going on, everyone? And welcome to Cart 6 T3. I'm just going with it. I'm going to throw that out there because I know that, uh, you know, nobody really cares. <laughs> My name is Ben, and I am the man who makes these videos for you just to introduce myself to you if you are new to the channel. Uh, if you are new to the channel, I'll get this out there first. Uh, if you didn't mind, sometime during this video, if you hit a like on the video, that'd be awesome. Even better would be if you were to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to see you back. I'd love to be able to interact with you as many of uh, the guys and, and gals that, that watch this, the, these videos that I create. You know I like to interact. I do answer every comment or question or anything like that, whether I know, whether I don't know, you know, new video ideas, all that stuff. I try and interact with you guys as much as possible. So if you didn't mind subscribing, that would be awesome. Uh, I get this question occasionally. Uh, and I guess I, I kind of overlook it because it's my normal. Uh, this uh, new tracks, that's a pretty sorry excuse for K, but all right. <laughs> new tracks. Some things that you might want to consider uh, if you were either A, you plan on doing a traveling series, or B, you just want to you know go experiment with new tracks. I have been traveling around to tracks for... Uh, boy, I don't even know. Let's see, I started in 2002. I raced four or five. I think I started running Unlimited All-Stars UAS. That's traveling series, you know, different tracks. They're, they're not all at the same place, not even in the same state. About 2007. So I have been bouncing around to different tracks for a really long time. Uh, this is second nature to me. I, many of these tracks I've been to, even tracks that I haven't been to yet, uh, you watch videos or anything like that, you get a basic premise of how big the track is, and you kind of go from there. So we're going to start with that. What is the best way to get information on a new track you might want to consider? Uh, number one, I'd be coming right here. I'd be coming to YouTube. I'd be typing in that, uh, that track name, see if there's any videos, anybody's posting GoPro footage, you know, like I have on this channel. I, I have quite a few, uh, you know, it's in the open, but I've been on a, quite a few tracks on here, you know, Kroger Creek and, and uh, AMS or Paradise or anything like that. So you come and it'll give you a, a perception of what the surface looks like, you know, what the, you know, how big the track might be. Uh, secondly, definitely Facebook, some, some sort of social media. I'd be going to their page, uh, Google maybe, if they have a website, and getting on there, finding out exactly, you know, that maybe they have a, you know, how, how many feet the track surface is going to be, if not a general idea, is it a tenth mile, if, is it an eighth mile, a fifth mile, a quarter mile, something like that, to give you a, a gearing idea. That's probably one of the, the more asked questions, you know, somebody, you guys like to ask me about gearing. The problem I'm having with making a video dedicated gearing, and I, I plan on doing so, is that I run two strokes. So my, uh, for instance, I'm looking at my KT100 over there. I turn that thing 14,500 RPM. The Bama, the 250 or 270, whichever one I'm running, I will turn that 10,500 RPM on any given track. So my gear ratios are gonna be way off of where your your clone or your predator is gonna be. And you know, it's so it's hard for me to relate gearing wise and tell you guys what to do. Now I plan on figuring out, you know, what the, what like a max RPM of a predator will be or of a clone would be and and try and do some math and figure out, you know, what what general premise, you know, if you're gonna run a tenth mile, what you know, what gear are you gonna run there? Um but that's, you know, you're, you're going to go on to Facebook to find out things like that. Do they have a, a, a tire rule? You know, you're traveling to a new track. Are they going to have a tire rule there? Are they going to be a burst only? Are they going to be Maxis only? Uh, Hoosier, it's, I, I don't know that I've ever seen a Hoosier only track. But uh, Burris, Maxis, uh, down in Florida. I know there's some Vaga tracks, stuff like that. Again, I'm UAS. I'm you know, open tire all the time, so... Typically down south, Maxis up here, you're either on Burris or Vegas. Uh, you could run Hoosiers, I guess. It's just not as popular in my area as I as I think maybe in other parts of the country. 
Uh, but in general, you can also get on those pages on, say, Facebook, because most tracks have a Facebook page, and there will be some sort of interaction. So you might be able to just ask a general question. Hey, I'm coming to this track. Uh, anybody know a gear for my Predator, for my clone, what, whatever class it is you're going to run? Uh, how big is the track? You know, just... And people are usually, you know, they may not give you specifics. They're not going to give you an edge, but they're going to put you in the ballpark. I mean, regardless of competition's sake, for the most part, people are nice. <laughs> I know it's hard to hard to kind of fathom nowadays, but yes, in general, your neighbor is nice. The people at the track are nice. Somebody is going to, you know, be willing to help, help you uh, online usually, at least point you in the right direction. And, uh... So after you've, you know, gone to YouTube, this or that, you could, like I said, you can Google it. Uh, maybe they actually have a website page which would give you uh, gate time, start, rules, things that you might need to know. You know, they, are they one heat? Are they two heat? Are they, you know, do they have uh, timing, timed qualifying? Do you need to have, uh, it's not really a thing up here, nor transponder. Um, also the one-way radios. That is becoming a more a bigger thing around the country that they want you to have a one-way radio. I can tell you from a two-stroke standpoint, uh, it's not the the volume of the two-stroke, but the RPM interferes with the reception on it. I have one. I'll wear it, but it kind of sounds like when people talk to me through it. So <laughs> if I don't hear you, I have it on. I'm, I'm being responsible uh, if you've required me to do so. But uh, these are just things that you're going to want to pay attention to. Um, you're going into someone else's backyard. You know, this isn't your own. You've, you've gotten quite used to whatever track you started at, whatever tracks in your area, you're, you're running there. They have that tire rule. You're, you're used to running Burris. You're used to running, you know, <clears throat> Vegas or whatever it may be. Well, when you venture outside of your own track, it may be something else. If you're going to race for a state series, you know, you're going to want to go to their Facebook page. You're going to want to go to their website to find out the rules. These are just, you know, not only different location, but some tracks might have, you know, what is it? The, the difference between an open pipe and a weenie pipe on the uh, clones. I don't know if that's still a thing. I know that shoe clutches and disc clutches are often, you know, something that you might want to look into. Uh, aside from that, all right, you, you've, you've gathered all the information you possibly could about to go to whatever track you're going to go to. When you get there, be friendly. You know, try and befriend somebody. Just, you know, wander by, hey, you know, it's a, my first time here. You know, I just, just a general idea. Hey, I got a, you know, 1763 uh, on, you know, I, I read that online. Is that going to be close for gearing? And, uh, you know, maybe somebody's going to be, yeah, you might want to go up a tooth or go down a tooth, something like that. Uh, try and, and, and be friendly. And if you're at the new track and somebody asks you a question, you know, reciprocate that. You know, they may be new. Don't. You know, not everybody's the enemy. Go out there, beat them on track, but point them in the right direction. I'm not always going to give you every speed seeker I have, and nor, you know, do I expect anybody else at a new track to do so, but at least point somebody in the right direction. You know, you're, you're I, I said this to the gentleman, that I don't mind helping, obviously I, I create videos, I don't mind helping, you know, people raise their game. You know, and if they happen to beat me, if I happen to give them, you know, point them in the right direction to where it beat me, then I'm not going fast enough. That I need to work harder at what I'm doing to get past them. So it's it's just maybe it's because I'm competitive and I like that. I like that bar to be raised, and then I'll kind of go get it, uh, you know, and try and take it back. Uh, that time type of scenario. But I just, in general. I like to see everybody win, not win, win, you know, I want to win, but win in their pursuit of getting better every single time they hit the track. So I, you know, I, I really hope that you guys kind of, you know, maybe follow suit with that, you know, just racing's racing. We all want to win, but, you know, try and try and lend a hand, you know, and, and help new racers. If they are somebody coming to a new track, you know, and they're asking, hey, man, I don't, I don't know where I'm to, is this close on gearing? Where should I be? Kind of, you know, lend a hand. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're within the ballpark. You may want to add a tooth or two, that type of scenario. So these are just my thoughts on it. Uh, I didn't mean to get all kind of preachy or whatever I was doing there. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, 
I thought this would be a, a valuable thing to, uh, to you know, offer to you people. I'm used to it. I travel all the time, or I have traveled all the time for the past 10, 15 years, however long it's been, I've been doing UAS stuff. Uh, I'm used to going to new tracks. I'm used to showing up to somewhere I've never been. And I know that's not common for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys are only local guys. Some of you guys have your track, that's what you're going to. But maybe down the road, you know, once you've uh, figured your track out, or maybe, you know, you just decide, hey, man, I want, I want to see what else is out there. These are the type of things you want to look into and just pay attention. You know, rules and, and, and gearing and things like this. Go out and experiment. There is a ton of fun tracks out there. You know, that, that is one thing. Don't get me wrong. I love racing at Paradise. One of my absolute favorite. It's big. It's fast. It's slick. It's hard to get a hold of. I absolutely love it, but I do love a bull ring. I love going down to AMS and, and being on that little, you know, it's pretty much an eighth mile now, but 10th mile, um, high bank and all that, completely different from, I, I love that experience. I like going out to Kuroga, a little bit more bite, you know, an eighth mile, really, you know, you can sing it in the corner there and know that it's going to stick for the most part. Uh, going down south and experiencing, you know, southern grip, that, that dirt fault to where you got to run hard tires or you are in trouble. I, I love all these experiences and... If I'm going to offer any help, it's to pay attention to these things. This is where you're going to want to look for these things. Look on Facebook, look on YouTube, you know, try and absorb as much before you get there. So you at least have an idea of what direction you want to be going before you get there and not show up and just, you know, <laughs> it, it'll be a burst only track and you've all you've got is Vegas in your trailer. You, you, that's going to be a problem. You don't want that to happen. So, uh, all right, guys. I guess that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, like I said before, didn't mind, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this content. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Later.